Good morning, good morning, friends. Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh, it's our last day. Last, not day, last moments in Escal. Mm -hmm. We spent eight nights here. Yes. Fantastic. Longest stay so far. Yeah, fantastic stay here. We'll talk a bit more about that at the bus station. But in the meantime, we're running a little behind and we still have an apartment tour to do. Yes, so our taxi's gonna be picking us up soon, but before yeah. we leave, we wanted to show you guys the place where we yeah. stayed. So we're gonna give you a super quick tour. Super quick. You know the routine and then yeah. we'll roll our bags out. And the cat is out. The cat has come to ask for food, not even to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. To ask for we'll, food. We'll say hi to the cat. He's been fed. <laughs> Let's begin the tour. Let's begin the tour. So this is obviously the front door. Yeah. We had a nice big table with five chairs. We Dining here. area here. We did our work here. Just a fantastic place to hang out. Very comfortable. Moving on. This was our we little have, kitchen. It's always hilarious because you know what? I, I only notice the TVs when we do the tours. We literally don't. Use yeah, we ever. don't watch TV. We probably explained that a million times to you guys, but it's kind of hilarious. It's like, oh, there's a TV. There's a TV. <laughs> so here we had a nice fridge. Leaving. Oh, I think I'm leaving a few things behind. Yeah, we have some slices of salami. We have some olives. It's just so hard to travel with all that food. Yeah, nothing. Our in the bags freezer. full. This was the heater for basically everything in the house in terms of hot water. Yep. So this would turn on when we turned on the shower or when we we're washing the dishes with hot water. Nice piping hot showers. And we needed that because it was chilly in the mornings. It was Frigid. cold. Yeah, so again, this was our, our, our little kitchen sink area. space, sink area. You can see here that there's a nice amount of cups for us. We had everything we needed. We had wine openers. We had all the good stuff. We didn't actually cook or use the stove. We didn't cook, but we ate at home twice a day. We made, basically had our breakfast and our dinners here. We had big lunches out. So it's yeah. perfect. Okay, moving on. So I'll take you guys upstairs, but not right now. Um, first, let's go into the bathroom. Bathroom. Again, the most standard Argentine bathroom. Bidet, toilet, nice spacious shower. So much hot water, good water pressure. What more do you need? <laughs> Let's move on to the bedroom. The cool thing about this place too is that it kind of has a has a cabin vibe within an apartment. Oh yeah, I'd help if I turn on the lights for you guys. Nice big bed. Um, we had a closet. I don't think we utilized that. No, we didn't really no. unpack. Our things nope. were just scattered. Yeah. All around. And the only other place to show you is up the stairs. So and you fell down the stairs last I night. Fell down last night, guys. I hit my head. <laughs> I hit my head on here. I just not funny because like I hit it so hard that I lost my balance and I just went smack right on my back. Like I'm lucky I didn't get more seriously hurt. I mean I have like this part of my of my upper shoulder and neck is so sore. That's what you get for being today. too tall. Oh my gosh! So I'm gonna take you up, but I'm being very mindful of that. Yes. Of that thing. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't have that problem hitting my head. Yeah, I'm I mean, just beneath the threshold. We came up here a little bit just, just to get some, we wanted some shell space up here. Some and views. So basically this 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 loft part is for a family with kids. Yes. These are just very simple single beds. Three little ones. Um, yeah, this place was fantastic. It was fairly centrally located. Let's say about three blocks into the center of town. Yep, exactly. Three blocks into the center of town. But yet, where we were staying, we felt a little bit removed from all the traffic and things like that. We had a really good time here, but we do have a bus to catch. Yes. So, we'll talk more about our time here at the bus station. El Bolson. El Bolson. We got to the bus terminal with plenty of time. Yes. It's always good to show up early. Yeah, we have basically 50 minutes. Yes. And um, there's this nice little cafe. This is, was actually our first introduction to this town. It's where we had breakfast on the day we arrived. Yep. So what did you think of Estelle? Loved it. We absolutely loved, loved it. it. We spent eight nights here, which for an, an average traveler would be a bit too long. Yeah. I mean, but with that being said, there's so much to do here, so many day trips, mm -hmm. so I think four nights would be about perfect, would you say? Yeah, I think if you're the kind of traveler who can do two activities per day, yeah. um, then three to four nights here is fine. So, but because we're like working and traveling as yeah. we go, we were just doing like one activity in the right. day and then 
awkward. Exactly. <laughs> so eight days was good for us. So there's a lot to do here, and the town is still a little bit underrated. It's not nearly as famous as like Bariloche or San oh, Martin yeah. de Los no, Andes. No, no. So by coming here, you're kind of exploring a part of Patagonia that's still a bit underrated, mm -hmm. and, but yet has so much to offer. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, we loved it. It would be cool to come back here also in the winter to see what it looks yeah. like with snow. Um, but yeah, this was this was fantastic. Maybe this is bold. But I'd say it's one of one of the favorite stops on this trip so far. Yeah, I would and, agree. And a I place agree. that we didn't even think about coming. Yeah, like it was not on our radar at all. How did we end up here? We read about it in the guidebook. We ended up here because we wanted to cross from east to west. Oh, and this was the, the bus first, route. Yeah. The bus came to a skill. Honestly, That's why. honestly, the only reason we came here. But as we started to research it, but we're like, wow, there's a lot to do here. Yeah. And that's why we stayed so many nights. So it was well, fantastic. There you go. There you go. Poppers, 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 poppers. Hello, poppers, poppers, poppers. You're so cute. Did you have an encounter with a dog you want to tell us about? Yeah, I found this is a sweet stray outside and I was petting it. Uh huh. We're having a grand old time. Grand old time. And I went up to the other side of the bus to roll and started biting me. I mean, it started off with playful bites and then it started to hurt a bit. So I had to. Come. They were nibbles, Sam. I had to push it aside a little bit. Sam is still getting used to being around dogs because no. he's a cat man. I like dogs, but I don't mind playing with them, but I didn't know what, what this one was up to because it was getting more aggressive. So, so. <laughs> I was watching this unfold from inside and I'm laughing my head off because the dog's being all playful and like jumping around and trying to nibble you <laughs> and you were like backing away it was, from it. it, was, it, was, it was oh, there good. it is. Look, the little guy. Yeah, he's a sweet dog. He got some pets earlier on. Yeah, I had to feed him and lure him out of the station because he followed Sam into the cafeteria. <laughs> it's funny when some of these dogs, once they lock onto you, they follow you throughout the whole terminal. There could be yeah. hundreds of other people, but I got a few little nibbles this morning, not just to eat, but also on me. Well, guys, we are leaving Eskel aboard the fanciest bus to date on this yeah. trip. We were both talking about how it would have been so nice to have this on our, uh, on on our ride. journey. Yeah, coming Imagine from Chile or something. We would have slept so well. It's just so comfortable, like, that extra leg space, blanket and pillow. And they're like the, the chairs padded are, seats. The chairs are more comfortable. Very cushioned. Oh. We have curtains yeah. for privacy. When Audrey gets annoying, of course. When Sam gets annoying, when I get tired of having my husband around, I can be like, <laughs> no, what? So yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, kind of like that. We have pillows, we have blanket. There's a little rest, leg rest thing. Yeah. We have chargers, like yeah. we have outlets. So if we wanted to work on our computers or charge our batteries, we can do that. But it's such a short journey that we probably it's only, it's only two and a half hours. So yeah, we're gonna be there before we know it. Enjoy this to the max. If we, if we somehow take a nap, we'll just yeah. be arriving. <laughs> This, yeah. this bus continues all the way to Barloche, I believe. Mm -hmm. So maybe even San Martin de Los Andes, I'm not sure. But it keeps going north, basically. Yeah, and very, very nice. So excited to go to El Bozón. Thing that happens. Sleeping about 80% of the time. No, 50%. No? Yeah. I plan to stay awake for the other half of the trip. Okay. But I thought we should mention the price. I think maybe we mentioned it yesterday when we bought the tickets, but just in case you guys didn't watch that video. To travel from Esquel to El Bolson was, was 10 bucks. Great deal. Mm -hmm. Two and a half hour journey. We saw a beautiful rainbow. It's like sunny yeah. and rainy. Funny, I've been described the journey so far. It's almost like going on a sightseeing tour. Guys, we are all checked into our cabin. So cozy and cute. We will give you a tour. Yeah. Our first impressions are very, it's very cool. So cozy, so rustic. And so look, rustic. 
Our host, it's a young guy, probably about our age. His grandma baked bread for us. Yeah. What? It's still warm. Thanks, fresh grandma. Out of the oven. They gave us some jam, raspberry jam from a local farm, just like yeah, from down Patagonia. the street from us. Industria it's Argentina. From Patagonia. I love how products in Argentina always have the flag. That's oh cool. yeah. They're so very you know, proud of that. <laughs> so you know, it's Industria Argentina. Exactly. I feel like I need to get a knife so I'm not destroying the poor bread. It just looks so nice. Oh, so nice to be in El Bolson. This is a place I've wanted to visit for so many years. Yeah, Sam has been rambling about El Bolson yeah. since our last trip to Argentina. Yeah, even though we've never been here. <laughs> I've just known about this place oh, for a while. Piece. I'm gonna wrap it up because I don't want it getting cold. It's just so warm. Protect that bread. Oh, protect it, keep it safe. Keep it safe. You ready for some jammy McJamerson? Yes, we are planning to go out for lunch any minute now. Ooh, why's your battery so low? It just is. Yes. Okay. Right, let's try some of that. Mm, Grab some jammy jam mm, jamerson. Mm. Yum. You know, I wasn't planning on eating before lunch, but I am gonna have a bit of that too. Looks, how is it? So good. <sighs> I just need like a little cup of tea or something warm. Perfect, huh? I'm all set. I'm happy. I think we've got Parisian on our mind. We may go for yeah. one. Yeah. I'm really happy here. Really happy here. I know. Millsies. Parisa. Oh my gosh, that was good, Parisia. Like, unbelievably good. Everything was outstanding. The salad was so good. So many different ingredients. And the pumpkin puree. Ooh, pumpkin oh, pumpkin mash. That was amazing. It was next level. And then the meat was delicious. A good wine. Just a nice setting inside. It yeah. Was just like, welcome to El Bolson. <laughs> so the total for that meal was $9.25, yeah. which came to 22 yeah. US dollars. So, soda water, full bottle of wine, a good one too, Santa Julia, salad, bread, potato, oh no, not potato mash, pumpkin, pumpkin mash. And we only ordered one piece of meat to share, but, but it, it was, was huge. huge. And we ordered a dessert to share. Also, it was huge. So like the value was outstanding. Like that's a full course meal for 11 US dollars per person. Like you could, I could go back to that place every day <laughs> and not get tired of it. And yeah. then we went out and got groceries. And Shopping. How much did we pay um, in terms of pesos? Ooh, I've got the bill here. So it was 10.27 yeah. in so. pesos. I've got to say though, you got two expensive items. Yes. One of them being your coffee, which is almost $10. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Okay it's guys, ridiculous. this is the only coffee, instant coffee I've been able to find in Argentina, the Nescafe, which is obviously imported, that is that doesn't have sugar mixed with it. I hate having sugar mixed with it, especially like on a day-to-day -day basis. I like to just have my black coffee. But all the Argentina brands have mixed sugar. They're so much cheaper. But I insist on not having sugar, so I, I pay a premium That's for it. That's the one, the one strange thing. Yeah. Now, now the real find, I have a feeling, could be this wine. It's uh, Bianchi Genesis, Genesis? Genesis. Genesis, and it's a 2013 Cabernet Sauvignon, so six years old. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to be our table wine while we're here. Yeah. Uh, quickly, the rest of the tour. So what we else did we get? A large bottle of soda water, 2.25 liters. We got more green tea, we're getting low. Three giant bananas, Cachafez cookies, which we just love this brand. They make awesome alcohols. They also make awesome cookies. We got um, salami. We got local cheese. 
We got a little bit of fruit, an avocado, cucumba. And, and, a and a cucumba, a, cu a cucumber. Yeah. And it came to, what, it was 23 US dollars? It was, it was 24, but to yeah. be fair, that was this 10 bucks. is 10 like US half the budget. That. So, so really? I, I've learned my lesson if when we, when and if we travel in Argentina again, I'm actually literally going to carry instant coffee from Canada because it's so much cheaper to buy it there. What's but, the plan for, for the rest of the oh, afternoon? The plan is to have a giant siesta. We're so full. Yeah. Oh man, that was such a good lunch. That's though. what meat and wine will do to you. It's like <sighs> immediately you're like nap time. It's, it's just like, it's like a happy sleep. You just, you feel so satisfied. You're like, oh, and you just, you can't wait to get into bed. It's not one of those like guilty naps you just feel like oh this is the best thing ever i feel go. guilty i feel like man i have work to do well we do have and work, this meat is like must digest maybe an hour or two so that's where we're gonna say goodbye hope you guys enjoyed this travel vlog and we'll have a lot more from elbow stone Come on,